the, un the universe, you, you want to have the eyes to see um, how magical things are, actually are. Because we take things for granted, right? Um, and um, the woman that I'm dating right now, we were talking about how with um, a grocery store, we, we find it fascinating that in a, a grocery store, like we have the convenience of just showing up to the grocery store and buying food and how like crazy that is because back in the day like you had to go hunt and like you know find food and stuff and so um i'm, I'm just going to explain to you i'm going to just share with you a uh, sort of a a case study in, in a way of like how i interpret gratitude so that you can use it in your life to help you manifest but also release stress anxiety helps with depression and gratitude is so powerful right I'm sure you know this um, so for example, right, you want to go buy tomato from the grocery store, right? Tomato, right, was once a seed, right? And that seed then was in soil. So not only do we need to be grateful for the seed, um, and the magic of the seed, we need to be grateful for the soil as well and the sun and then the water, right? The rain. Right, and, you know, all the things that had to happen it just for rain to drop on that seed, for, for sun to shine on, on, on that seed. Do you, do you know what I mean? And the, 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 the molecules inside the soil, the nutrients and minerals inside the soil. Just that alone is crazy. It's crazy. And then the tomatoes growing, right, into a plant, and then the plant shoots up out the ground, and then, you know, they've got the tomatoes coming out. And the tomatoes are like duplicating, like the cells are duplicating, blah, 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 and it's growing into a tomato, right? And then the farmer comes along and cuts the, uh, you know, tomato plant or whatever tree, right? And picks it and picks the good ones, throws away the bad ones, and then it goes in the back of a truck. And then from the back of the truck, you know, it goes um, into the distribution center. From the distribution center, which is a whole complicated logistical process, right? I used to work in a, uh, in a warehouse, in a big, big uh, warehouse. And I can tell you the amount of work that goes in just to get a tomato to the store is absolutely crazy. How many people were involved in you eating that one tomato, right? And so it goes from the, the logistical center, the, um, the warehouse to the actual store, and then it's put on a shelf for you to easily pick up, put into your basket, go to the till and buy the tomato. Now this is one item out of many items like mushrooms, tomatoes, mangoes, pineapples, um, cilantro, I don't know, kale, chard, uh, lettuce, right? Um, all of these fruits, vegetables, all this stuff, just that section alone, how much had to happen in order for you to pick that up, pay for it, and leave the store and go cook it and eat it, right? Absolutely crazy. Here's the kicker, right? People have this lack of gratitude. It might be you, I don't know. I've been like this in the past, so I'm not pointing the finger here. But um, you're at the till, you're going to buy. It's like, why do I have to spend this money? I don't want to spend this money. I feel resistant about spending this money. No, you need to look at all that had to happen in order for you to get that tomato. You should be like wanting to give the money. Like I'm excited to give the money. Thank you for doing all of this for me. Does that, does that make sense? Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you, soil. Thank you, uh, seed. Thank you, sun. Thank you, rain. You know, thank you, farmer. Thank you, truck driver. Thank you, logistical center. Thank you, like, can you see? It's not just a tomato. You know, it's not just a tomato. So imagine doing this with your relationship. Imagine doing this with your kids. Imagine doing this with your business that you're starting. Imagine doing this with exercise and going to the gym, right? <laughs> it's absolutely crazy and we need to learn to deep gratitude and go deeper into deeper levels of gratitude. Just in a romantic relationship alone, if you can appreciate your partner to that, those details, to knowing that when they're cooking food in the kitchen, they're not just cooking food in the kitchen, especially if they went to sh go shopping for you and all this stuff. There's so many things involved. You know, that person had to earn money like they had to go to work 
or run a business or whatever, earn the money first, right? They had to trade their time for the money or they had to put in effort, willpower, uh, their mental and emotional resources to earn the coin, right? To then take it, right? To earn it. And then they take a percentage of their income and they both buy the food for you, right? They buy the food for you, they bring it home, they cook it and they make you a meal. It's not just a plate of food. They're not just making a meal. Can you see how grateful we can be? I'm actually getting chills right now, right? Just over someone cooking food. You know, uh, it, it's, it's an amazing thing where we can get into uh, being so ungrateful, so uh, entitled and not being aware. You know, I was watching a video, I think it was Gary Vaynerchuk or something like this. And someone was complaining about not having Wi-Fi on an airplane. There was Wi-Fi on the airplane, but the, the Wi-Fi wasn't working on the airplane. And this person was complaining that the Wi-Fi wasn't working on the airplane. Now I can understand if this person is running their business and they need to get on the internet really quickly, but you're flying through the air <laughs> in a vehicle that's not crashing. And you have the capacity and the, the finances to go from one country to another country, or another state to another state. And we're worried about not having internet for an hour or eight hours or whatever it is. You know, what's the worst that can happen, right? So we've gotten into this state of entitlement and, and we need to learn to get back to the heart space and get back to gratitude and get back to appreciation. Anyway, I recently created a community where I'm gonna be sharing free courses, um, live calls, and you'll be able to interact with other members in that community. Um, just click the link in the description or go to mastermindthrive.com. Um, really, really, it's gonna be really, really powerful and it's gonna change a lot of people's lives. It also includes a free energy reading and a manifestation diagnosis session. So uh, go ahead and check that out. Um, and that's about it for this video. Remember to keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.